According to Wookbird, the culture is divided into two areas. One is materialistic culture, another is non-materialistic culture. The materialistic culture will also called as visible culture, concrete culture, tangible culture. And non-materialistic culture will also called as invisible culture, abstract culture, intangible culture. But if you see the examples for both of them, example visible culture, which we can touch it and we can see and we can understand it. That is blackboard, pen, paper, book, all these things. Whereas invisible culture is customs, traditions, conventions, mores, folk ways, all these things along with this clever, intelligence, skills, all these things also included in invisible which we cannot see. Only after the work we can understand the, all those things. Next, Robert Bedstead. He also divided the culture into three categories. One is cognitive dimension. Second one is normative dimension. Third one is materialistic dimension. If it is the cognitive dimension, cognition is nothing but the recognition, that word related to the mental process. Finally, this is the thought process creative process so it is an idea maker or the creativity second one is normative normative dimension with norms is equal to rules and regulation third one is materialistic dimension here it is all the visible things we can say chalk piece duster blackboard something like that we can say and Crowber is also a cultural anthropologist the Crowber will also divided the culture into two categories one is <coughs> ethos another is edos ethos are having the inner born qualities qualities are inside it cannot be visible with exam here it is edos are the qualities what you have you are going to exhibit it that is formal appearance but ethos how we can unless there is a need they can express what they are they can give the lecture they can show their dance something like that we can understand so without any Work. We can also understand that is through the edos, formal official appearance or social appearance. And then Clockham is also divided the culture into two categories that is explicit and implicit. This condition is it is going to be worked on one concept that is consciousness. If the people are consciously doing, example myself. I am giving the lecture with consciously, with full awareness, with full knowledge. I am able to give the information for, for you. Whereas, implicit is, it is a time pass. Maybe, may not be consciousness. Sometimes all the viewers may be see, watch very seriously. Sometimes the time pass, they may see it. Time pass, how they are see, seeing means, that is not with full concentration, with full awareness. Consciousness, just like the habitually they are going on watching and close the book or the close the YouTube. And th another one, Crowber is also divided the culture, another two categories, super individual, super organic. <coughs> super individual is nothing but with the help of sensory organs, we are having five sensory organs, eyes, nose, mouth, ears and the skin. With the help of this, the people are receiving the information either from the TV or from the people or from the nature. Receiving. And if it is super organic, it is nothing but giving the information to the others. That is the ability to express the information to the others. This is the classifications of the cultures. Once again, we will review. This is the classification of culture is given by the four profe four categories. Number one category is by Mr. Wookburn, materialistic culture and non-materialistic culture. The materialistic culture will also called as concrete culture, tangible culture, visible culture. Non-materialistic culture is abstract culture, visible culture, intangible culture. Examples for these two is visible culture means which we can see, touch and feel it, we can easily identify. Table, duster, pen, wall, something like that. Whereas invisible culture is customs, traditions, conventions, mores, folk ways, rituals, ceremonies and also here it is skills, 
clever intelligence all this we cannot touch it simply imagine it one should feel it after the function then according to mr robert bistet he also divided the culture into three dimensions number one dimension is cognitive dimension ah uh, okay cognitive dimension next second one is normative dimension third one is materialistic dimension if it is cognitive dimension cognition is nothing but the recognition this work has been done by the brain that is the thought process thinking process so finally ideas and creativity cognitive dimension second one is normative dimension normative is nothing but the norms rules and regulations third one is materialistic di dimension already wubber has told materialistic culture is nothing but the visible culture we can see and we can feel it table book shelf something like that and crober will also divided the culture into two categories ethos and edos ethos are having the inner qualities it never appears it is just like the invisible culture only out of work we can understand it and edos are nothing but externally we can see and we can identify it that is visible culture example here it is formal appearance social appearance next another one is <coughs> cluck home cluck home is divided the culture into two categories explicit and implicit explicit is are either explicit or implicit worked on the one principle one concept the name is consciousness here i myself is having the consciousness consciously with full awareness with knowledge i am able to express to you not just like the time pass i am giving the information for you with seriously i am thinking and i am learning and i am presenting the matter to you so consciousness is very important that is the in explicit i am having the consciousness and i am expressing whereas in implicit here there is no consciousness subconscious or may not be interested just like sometimes you may see seriously what the madam has given today lecture we want to see ah uh, just like that S sometimes the people will think in such a manner also if they are not serious about the position of the collector or group and officer they cannot see if they are serious they will see what teacher is telling so it may be consciousness it may not be consciousness again the crober is also divided the culture into two more categories one is super individual another one is super organic super individual is nothing but receiving the information from the nature how with the help of sensory organs sensory organs we can touch it we can see it and can feel it that is five sensory organs we are having so from the nature or from the persons or from the radio or from this mobile we are receiving whereas super organic is nothing but ability to express so after listening all these thing at the time of examination if you learn properly it will be computerized in your mind you can easily you have the ability to express to write or express to say something at the time of interview so one is receiving super individual is receiving from the nature or the from the people and the super organic is giving to the information to the public or to the persons by this today's lecture is completed possible please try to subscribe it from long period onwards i am doing the lecture notes to you okay this is bindu taking leave from the youtube platform good night